Hi, this is Neil W. McCabe. I'm the editor of Guns and Patriots, and uh, I'm here with Lee Edwards from Heritage. How are you doing today, sir? Thank you very much for asking me, Ned. Love to talk about this particular statue and what it means. How did uh, the idea come about to uh, to commemorate the victims of communism, sir? Well, actually, it was my wife's idea. Uh, we were having brunch uh, out here, not too far, in Bethesda, Maryland, a couple of months after the Berlin Wall came down. And I was already concerned because I could see people beginning to forget about communism, not really exploring why it collapsed, what it had done. They wanted to move on with their lives. And I really expressed deep concern about that. And my wife said, well, you know what we need? We need a memorial to the victims of communism. Now, uh, this statue here is based on uh, the Freedom yeah. Statue from Tiananmen Square. Right, from the, the so-called Goddess of Democracy. Right. And why did you choose that? Well, we went to our board and we said we need an icon to be at the center of our memorial site. And we said, what do you like? And so we talked to not only our board, to many ethnic groups, C uh, Cubans, uh, Vietnamese, uh, Hungarians, Poles, and so Refugees forth. Refugees who had escaped from communist countries. Right. So what is your idea? What should be here? We had a bunch of ideas. And it really came down to two. One was to do a, some kind of replication of the Berlin Wall. Okay. Too big. Brandenburg Gate, too big, because this is the site which had already been selected, just a, a quarter of an acre. Right. Or the Tiananmen Square statue, the goddess of democracy. The more we thought about it, we said yes, because that shows you what communism will do to those people who challenge them, those pro-democracy students, come in and kill them, massacre them. But also, it, because it was based upon our Statue of Liberty, it was a symbol of man's innate desire for freedom.